Today is the final test. This is the last big workout before the Tour de France. Leaving from Girona, Spain, we're gonna do a ride that we call three big climbs. Essentially, it's two half hour climbs out of a town called Ulat, which is maybe about 50K from Girona. And then we loop back and we finish on a climb called Roca Corba. Roca Corba is historically the big climb that all the pros out of Girona test themselves on. The best time is somewhere around the 27.30 time mark. And while the guys aren't exactly going for time today, they are trying to push themselves to see how hard they can go up that hill after a big day of riding so that they have a frame of reference of where their fitness is. That's ultimately the last thing that we need to do before these guys rest for the rest of the week and then we're off to the Tour de France. First climb is going to be Medio and then uh, we were thinking about doing a surge around the e-bike and then back on again. So You know steady. how we like each kilometer we were peeling off and yeah, yeah. I was thinking each kilometer when you do the peel off you sprint around the e-bike and then slot back in behind so you get a little like surge. Yeah, yeah. And then second climb it's just going to be a little more up tempo, right? Harder. And then third climb Roca Corbra, it's just going to be smash. This is going to be six hours, 12,000 feet of climbing. The guys are going right now, so we got to skedaddle. Woods has got to be back at three o'clock. So Roca Corbra is used as a test climb mainly because it's steep and it's hard and it's unrelenting. It's a climb that challenges you. You don't have any other option except to go deep on it. And it's close to town. So for convenience sakes, it has become kind of the standard go-to climb. Three Big Climbs is a ride that we do often as a standard point of reference. But today we're gonna to add a new element to that. We're gonna have Taylor Finney riding an e-bike so that he can actually pace the guys up the climb. You know, the guys are doing well. I'm really noticing uh, <laughs> just a deep determination from both of them. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a real life race type scenario, which is gonna challenge the guys even further. He knows these climbs so well, and he knows bike racing so well that having a professional rider on the e-bike to help pace them adds a whole nother dimension to the training plan today. Effectively, it allows him to communicate directly with his teammates as if he was actually racing with them, doing things that a normal super domestic or a team of super domestics would normally do. In this case, he's gonna be doing this by himself using the assistance of an e-bike. The reason why we're doing Roca Corpora at the end and the reason why it's really kind of the standard of reference on a day like today is because you want to see how you do at the end of a long day. Today's route is about 110 miles with about 12,000 feet of climbing, all of which basically finishes on Roca Corba. So without having that end load come into play, you don't really know how you stack up. In fact, while you might do a test fresh to see what your peak power outputs are, racing never works that way. It's either at the end of a race or it happens two weeks into the race. So even today's point of reference is only a check-in because the real test is gonna be what happens in the last week of the Tour de France. That's pretty good, that last one. That was really good. Uh, the next one we're kind of thinking go pretty hard in the base and then back off. Steady and then hard. In the last up there. Yeah, just make like you know the lead into a, a climb. Everyone's going kind of bonkers to get in position, and like it's like the second last time of the day. I feel like the gradient of the next climb almost mimics that perfectly. Yeah, it does. You yeah. know, like it's steep in the Start. bottom and steep at the top, and there's that level part in the middle. Okay. So okay, huh? we can kind of you can look at our watts. We could tell you back off or pick it up if we need to, but okay. I think if you just ride it, it'll do that automatically. What's nice about today's workout is that it just so happened that both TJ's training plan and Mike Wood's training plan align with them having the same specific goals for today. Last hard workout, test themselves, challenge themselves, and basically empty the tank so that they can earn their hard earned taper for the rest of the week without any stress. We had a big long day today. Uh, first and foremost, the guys hauled ass. Taylor did a wonderful job of pacing the guys throughout the entire day. 
and compared to this workout which we did a couple of months ago, the guys took about half an hour total off of 110 miles, which is pretty impressive. They also climbed each of the climbs faster than they've ever climbed climbs. Uh, so that's a great point of reference. And I think that basically says it all. It was a hard day, it was a consistent day. The guys look really fit, they look super smooth, they kept it rolling the whole entire time. It was also bloody hot. And so um, I'm actually pretty happy that not only uh, did they go so fast, but they didn't seem too bothered by the heat. They were still able to maintain a pretty high level of performance. The major measures of success today were basically speed. We weren't too concerned about power output. We were really concerned about how fast these riders could go up these climbs and how fast could they do the whole entire course. Ultimately, that's what really matters in bike racing. You might be able to do a certain amount of power, but depending upon your drag or your weight, you might go slower or faster than your competitors. And the bottom line in any bike race is to go faster than everyone else. And that's what they were trying to do, not against each other, but against themselves today. Let's hope that they go faster than most of their competitors at this year's tour, because that's ultimately the real test, especially the last week when everyone is gonna be pooped. There's really nothing left to do. Um, I feel like maybe just um, curling into a fetal position, sucking my thumb. Uh, I might vomit first and then do that, but um, there's essentially nothing left for me to do, which is uh, kind of uh, 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 both weird and also good feeling because we have been manic for the last month. Um, feels like manic for maybe the last year. And now my job is done but TJ and the rest of the EF squad, their job has just begun. So uh, we're gonna be watching them from, uh, from home and uh, wishing them all the best, but I think that uh, they have a lot of confidence going into this year's race and uh, the morale is good, the cohesion is good. They're happy and that's all you can ask for.